What is going on, True Believers? An Antifa member named Mark Violets attempted to assassinate Donald Trump, the presidential candidate, pro-crypto candidate. And this is a crypto channel, so we're looking at it from a crypto perspective. First, uh, what you just saw was what was going on live at that time. And, uh, you know, it's very difficult in this time. Violence... Gun violence, generally not the answer when it comes to our political system, the foundation by which. But I should say that it is my opinion now that Donald Trump wins this election. And that's going to be very bullish for crypto. Before I get into that, uh, I'm going to take you through a couple more things and then we'll um, have some commentary after that. First of all, uh, Elon Musk has come out, as you can see right here from this video here. This is Donald Trump after the Secret Service have covered him with his fist up, telling people to fight. You fight, fight. And look, it, it would occur to me that it is improbable and almost inconceivable to say that nobody checked the roof of the building next door. That is a very, very odd circumstance. This seems almost pedantic and simple at this point that that would be one of the first things that you would do if you are trying to protect a political candidate. Now, there are some rumors coming out saying that Donald Trump uh, also was wearing a bulletproof vest and was actually shot and took a shot to the chest. Now, we just watched the video, so you would know that that most probably is not the case. It could be. However, let's also say a 78-year-old man with a bulletproof vest on taking a shot to the chest would not have been standing there. Okay, uh, for those of you that are, are bullet, a bulletproof vest doesn't mean it reduces or stops. Uh, it doesn't prevent impact. And that impact would cripple somebody of his age, advanced age. So uh, did he get shot uh, and did a bulletproof vest save him? I don't think so. Um, however, there's the image right there. So you'll see conspiracy theories coming out about this over the next couple of days. And I could be wrong. It is entirely possible that, uh, that that a bullet went through his jacket, uh, but I don't think that it would have hit him. And in fact, based on the position, it is possible that as he was turning sideways that it just kind of grazed him because there were about three or four shots that went off before you heard the return fire from the Secret Service. So here you can see uh, Trump being taken away by the Secret Service with his ear bleeding. Um, and folks, this is, this is, you've turned, or this has turned Donald Trump into a martyr, and he will win this election. Now, immediately afterwards, he get he got a full endorsement from Elon Musk and hope for a rapid recovery. It is being rumored right now that Donald Trump will be going to the UFC event tonight. And look, say what you want, Donald Trump is an opportunist, and he will use this to his advantage, which he should. He is a victim here and has been the victim of an attempted assassination. So uh, I think it is imperative upon him at this point to basically close the deal. Now look, there are a lot of people in middle America, it doesn't matter what happens or what Donald Trump does, they're not going to vote for him. There's liberals, no matter what, they're not going to vote for him. But there are people in the middle. People in the middle uh, can be swayed, right? The the most important part right now is who's out to get Donald Trump, and why are they out to get Donald Trump? Now, it does not, it doesn't matter why. It doesn't matter what you think or what I think or what you know most people individually think. What matters is narrative, and the narrative that you are going to hear from the loons. And by the way, if you're a MAGA person, I'm calling you a loon. I am. I support Donald Trump because Donald Trump is pro-crypto, but I don't agree with most of his policies. I'm a one single issue voter, and I'm voting for Donald Trump. But I don't believe in the lunacy that goes along with it. I don't believe the election was stolen. I don't believe any of that. So I do want to say that. But again, Donald Trump is an opportunist. The opportunity that presents itself right now is to create a narrative in which you will question why was something so simple missed? A roof 150 yards away was not cased 
There was no Secret Service on hand. There was uh, it, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So, um, is, is there a blind spot for the Secret Service? Did somebody forget? Did somebody you know? Uh, I mean, th- there's going to be a um, there'll be a congressional hearing. There'll be an investigation. Uh, we don't know for sure that it's this Mark Violet's person that's been brought out to task, but he has been. The shooter was killed on that rooftop. So um, that's all we can really say at this point about that. Now, this image that you're watching right here, along with, now look, you're going to see a lot of memes coming out. You're going to see a lot of different things, but this right here, this is the image that is going to win the 2024 election. Now, think what you want about Donald Trump. Donald Trump is going to win this election. It is possible that he was not going to before today, and anything can happen between now and November. But let's now take a moment and look at uh, the realization that most likely Donald Trump is going to win the election. What does that mean broadly? Assassination attempt was four hours ago. This is cryptocurrency since then. You can see that there was a little bit of sell down that was originally happening uh, off of a sideways consolidation. We had a little uh, flush, if you will, and then the news came out. We saw this happen live. We were all kind of watching and crypto has now spiked and it was up about 50 billion dollars in it was up 30 billion dollars in within that hour then we're up another 14 billion dollars since uh the the reset quote unquote on the clock here so uh, m- most important what does this mean for crypto so etfs continue their inflows bitcoin is now back to pumping it's almost at sixty thousand dollars Donald Trump is most probably going to win this election. Again, I, I want to say that he's going to win as a slam dunk because it feels that way right now. But there's a lot of things that have felt certain ways until we get closer to the election. Can a 34-time felon who's been accused of raping a 13-year-old child um, and was convicted of raping E. Jean Carroll has no right to win an election. However, what you just witnessed was a reinforcement to the entirety of MAGA that no matter what Donald Trump does, he is under attack from a shadow government, a global conspiracy, a cabal, a deep state, if you will. And he comes back stronger every single time. Now, when I say that, Understand that Joe Biden won huge in the last election. That's not going to be the case this time. People who were Biden supporters previously, they're paying a lot more for everything. Donald Trump is offering to make you pay a lot less for things. He's offering to do things that are necessary to propel the United States into another level. Among those, accepting cryptocurrency uh, as a valid form of asset in the United States. These are huge moves right now. So if you are not, uh, I can't make you, I can't force you, but it sure would be cool if you would join me in endorsing Donald Trump for president in 2024, wishing him a speedy recovery. Um, I, I don't think that he was shot in the chest, but I do, obviously he was shot and grazed in the ear. And that is a little bit wild been a long time since there's been an assassination attempt against a president or a former president. So, um, and by the way, it's happened before. It will happen again. This is not, uh, this is not an outlier. In 80, Reagan was shot. 2016, I believe, a uh, congressman was shot at a, a ball game. Um, 2012, uh, I think a senator from Arizona was shot in the face. It's not an outlier. And it's not a testament to quote unquote, where we are as a country or where we are as a society. This has always been going on. We just didn't have social media to tell us that it was happening locally, uh, that we didn't have all of these pieces that allowed everybody to communicate their conspiracy. And then we have people who take those conspiracies and make them sound even better after they get fleshed out as stupid by some people. We uh, We have a propaganda network. That propaganda network, it's X. That, that propaganda network is full of people creating propaganda and stuff like that for you. So, um, and, and by the way, the, the Trump administration, the, the Trump, I, I call it administration, but the Trump 
uh, campaign is very, very good at this. So they're going to use this to their advantage. And I don't think that, that Joe Biden and the Democratic Party, I don't think that they're ready for this. I don't think they're behind it, by the way. I, I don't buy into those conspiracies. Uh, they're not behind anything like that. I don't think it's the character of those people to begin with. But it does mean that uh, Donald Trump should keep his head on a swivel. Um, the security and uh, the, sec- the Secret Service that surrounded him should be fired right away for that gaffe. And I would think that if there are people on that uh, team that he trusts, keep them around if, if that's what he wants. But you need to wipe that out because that is an egregious, egregious mistake. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I think that crypto is probably going to start pumping right now because we just saw an attempt to assassinate a pro-crypto political candidate and most likely the next president. And everything that he said he's going to do, he does. Uh, Maybe Congress will stop some of what he wants done in certain places. But generally speaking, when he wants something to happen, it does happen. So... Um, wish him well, uh, Godspeed, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll talk to you again very, very soon.